Hey, good morning. It's beautiful out here this morning. Got a cool breeze on my back, coming from the west. Thought I heard something right over the top of the camera here. Uh, you never know, something to sneak up on me out here. <laughs> There's a, a word in, in today's reading. Today's Ephesians 1 verse 14. And uh, one of these words is the allotment. You know, our allotment is, is in the heavenly realm, those of the body of Christ. And Israel's allotment is the earth. You know, they are allotted the earth. They promised the earthly realm, and we are promised the celestial realm. So there's two different, in the scriptures you have two different evangels for two different areas. Uh, we want to make sure, you know, Paul's writing is 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 for the nations, for those that's promised the celestial realm. All right, the body of Christ is the celestial realm. So we got the allotment, and there's also a word in here that pops up is um, earnest. We're being given an earnest, uh, an earnest of the spirit. The earnest of the Spirit in our hearts. And it's God who gives us, uh, in 2 Corinthians 5.15, one, one of these references to Ephesians 1.14 is 2 Corinthians 5. Uh, it says, Now he who produces this for us for that same longing is God, who has also given us the earnest of the Spirit. The earnest. Okay, so I looked that word up, earnest. And it's a thing intended or regarded as a sign as to what is to come. <laughs> it implies having a purpose and being steadily and soberly eager in pursuing it. God gives us that in spirit, eagerness to pursue it. Do you all feel that, the eagerness? Uh what we do we, we've got it so Ephesians 1 14 and found in Paul's writings and this is the references to it let's see how it comes out there's not that many to it which is an earnest of the enjoyment of our allotment to the deliverance of that which has been procured for the Lord of his glory for you did not get slavery spirit to fear again but you got the spirit of sonship in which we are crying, Abba, Father. The spirit itself is testifying together with our spirit that we are children of God. Yet if children, enjoyers also of an allotment, enjoyers indeed of an allotment from God, yet in joint enjoyers of Christ's allotment, if so be that we are suffering together, that we should be that we should be glorified together also with Christ. You know, that's with Christ. Yet not only so, but we ourselves also who have the first fruit of the Spirit, we ourselves also are groaning in ourselves, awaiting the sonship, the deliverance of our body. <laughs> Yeah, I'm ready for that. Now he who is confirming us together with you in Christ and anoints us is God, who also seals us and is giving the earnest of the Spirit in our hearts. See, it's God who seals us. Our Father has sealed us and has given us the Spirit, the earnest in our hearts now he who produces for us the same longing is God who is also given the earnest of our spirit now seeing that you are sons God delegates the spirit of his son into our hearts crying Abba father so that you are no longer a slave but a son now if a son and enjoyer also of an allotment from God through Christ 
and do not be causing sorrow to the Holy Spirit of God, by which you are sealed for the day of deliverance, designating us beforehand for the place of his Son, for him, our Father, through Christ Jesus, for the law and the glory of his grace, which graces us in the beloved, in whom, in him in whom our lot was cast, also being designated beforehand, according to the purpose of the one who is operating all in accord with the counsel of his will, that we should be for the law of his glory, who are pre-expected in the Christ. It's all in accord with the counsel of God's will. We had no part in that, do we? Our, we had nothing to do with. <laughs> it was this is all gave to us. I can't add anything to that. Nope, that's uh. You know, I've learned you can't. I can't add anything to the scripture. Scripture was inspired. All scripture is inspired. Uh, it's all it's all for us to read and learn from but it's not all wrote to us uh, in particular you know Paul's writing was wrote to us that was for us today uh, the, the whole scripture the whole Bible is something that we learn from and, and it represents a lot there's a lot of uh, things in there that uh, I've not studied the whole Bible I haven't I haven't looked it over. I mean, I read through it, and a lot of stuff I didn't understand. But boy, you get me into Paul's writings, and things lighten right up. I never, never have studied Revelation, the book of Revelation. Never have. The unveiling of Christ. The unveiling. When we was in the world wide, they call it, when you, you know, when the preacher would stand up there and call a book out, he's, you know, as you end is what they call it by uh, the unveiling is known as the UN you know you have Matthew Mark Luke and, and John and, uh, they use a lot of the Old Testament but Revelation was referred to as UN <laughs> unveiling yep what a, what a deal we have to look forward to I'm, I'm it's uh Marsh and I talk about that all the time. And uh, it's getting closer and closer. You know, we look at, we was talking the other day, you know, how long are we going to be on this earth? And at our snatching away, or how long will it be before we can be able to come back to assist those that, uh, those loved ones that didn't, didn't make the, uh, didn't understand Paul's writings. They didn't get snatched out. You know, how are we going to have, when are we going to be able to come back and help them? I believe it'll be pretty quick. You know, Christ is our example. You know, look what he done. He, he come back in his glorified body. You know, he came back, uh, and revealed himself to the apostles in the room. Remember that? He went to the room. And it just appeared among them. And he wasn't in his glorified body. He was uh, come in as one of them. You know, a man that uh, you could talk, look at and talk to him. And see the holes, you know, where the nails was. So he revealed himself to them. But he wasn't in his glorified body like he did with Paul. So, you know, he come back and he stayed for a while and, and and help them got them got them going but anyway so i wondered you know i always wonder that we don't know there's nothing tells us exactly but i found how long we'll be out and what but we have so much to do you know there's so much that <laughs> for us we're going to be ruling the scriptures say don't you know that you're going to be judging angels be teaching them they don't know the grace that we've got they don't understand and that's what we do you know they they don't understand what we do but i'm sure they're watching this and and uh, anticipating 
but something's that's going on, you know. It's gonna be pretty awesome to to uh, get everything together, work with Christ, rule and reigning with Christ. Never in my mind, you know, I never dreamt anything like that. And here it is, you know, understanding scriptures, it tells us we'll be ruling and reigning with Christ. And even judging angels. Teaching them. It's pretty amazing. But anyway, I'm rambling. I'm, I want to get back up. i got things we got to get done. got some canning work to do. And uh, my mother-in-law called me last night and said, hey, you got to... We need a canner. If you got a, a canner, we got some beans we got to work out. So I'm going to run her a canning, uh, her canner back up to her today and get some beans worked up, put them in jars. Because winter's coming. It's going to be cold. So it's going to be an awesome day. Let's go see what God's got for us, shall we? I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Have a, have a good day.